Well, uh, welcome back to The Breakfast right here on PLOS TV Africa. We have our next guest joining the conversation as we look at the role of public figures in nation building. Alexa Wilcox joins the conversation. Good morning. Thank you for joining us, Alexa. Good morning, sir, for having me. It's my greatest pleasure to be here this morning. All right. We have Nigerian celebrities that have ventured into politics. I mean, you have Nollywood actress and producer Funke Akindele, also known as Jennifer, uh, over 25 years of experience in the entertainment industry. Uh, in 2023, Lagos governorship uh, elections, you have Dr. Abdul Olajide Adediron, also known as Jandor, of the People's Democratic Party. Uh, he will be joined by Funke Akindele as his running mate. Now, moving away from that, Bank Holly Wellington, better known as Banky W, his stage name, is also a politician, a rapper, actor, and a singer from Nigeria. He ran for the office in 2019 election to represent the residents of Etiosa in Lagos in the lower house of the National Assembly under the banner of the Modern Democratic Party. Banky W first entered Nigerian politics uh, for the 2023 general elections. He ran for and won the People's Democratic Party's uh, ticket for the Tiosa federal constituency uh, after leaving the modern Democratic Party due to his unwavering ambition. Now, Tonto DK is also another person. She's a philanthropist, a musician, and an actor from Nigeria. Uh, she's from River State, Obiakbo, local government area to be precise. Uh, she would also be running as a, a deputy for the elections, governorship elections, running mate 2023 in River State. Unexpectedly, she was chosen as that running mate. And there's been a lot of conflict, uh, you know, to her response and all that's uh, really going on. The list is almost endless. But uh, the major conversation and the crux of it is that uh, this person have become, have been highly criticized over time. Uh, by people and saying, why do you have actors and why do you have entertainers venturing into politics? Oh, why are you going to become a politician or becoming wanting to become a governor, uh, a lawmaker? Uh, when you understand that acting, music and what have you, it's not the same thing as, uh, you know, being a governor or being a lawmaker and what have you. And that's why we have Alexa uh, Will Cox this morning. Alexa, what are your thoughts? We seem to have a lot of public figures, uh, you know, vying for political offices or engaging in politics these days. Actors as Desmond Elliott, he was there in 2015. The list is almost endless. And these persons are highly criticized for uh, trying to be part of the process. What do you think? I wonder why anybody will be criticizing anybody for wanting to be part of the process. The, the constitution makes it clear that uh, our legibility to, to seek public office, um, it doesn't declassify anybody. It makes it absolutely clear that every Nigerian that possesses the requisite qualification and uh, is uh, at the city of Nigeria has a right to aspect to any office of the land. So you being a, a, a musician, an actor, or whatever, is out of the... So that cannot be a piece of uh, any criticism. I don't see anything special in anybody uh, wanting to throw his heart in the ring because it is his constitution or her constitutional rights. And nobody has a right to deny that person that intention because it's intention. Uh, and he has a right to, to pursue it. I mean, I mean, this is not strange. Having um, public figures, so you call them, I mean, we are all public figures, but maybe those you see on your television sets every day uh, having to be in politics. It's not strange. Abike Dabiri used to be a broadcaster, and uh, we have uh, I, 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 this lady, Anya Wu, too. Uh, I think what's that, what's that other name? Or the Senate or sometime. Abike Dabiri was in the House of Reps and uh, for a long time. And then if you go outside the country, you have footballer like uh, George, George Opongwea, president of Liberia. You go to California, you had Anon Schwarzenegger, got one time governor. You, if you go to Ukraine, I'll be using you from Russia, and you have the Klitschko, uh, uh, Klitschko being, uh, uh, I mean, having his. In, so it, the, the list is endless worldwide. We have celebrities become um, 
uh, I, I mean, I mean, have themselves into office. I'm the current president of uh, Ukraine. He used to be a comedian, <laughs> so he from comedy he has become a president, and uh, he's even one of the most popular president now, a wartime president. So I, uh, Nigeria cannot be an exception, uh, sincerely. So let's not make any views about them going to politics. It is their right, and they sh they have they, they they can be they, they should be accorded that respect of their decisions to go into politics and for them to remain in politics and to see what they can do is part of nation building. Now, another thing also is uh, when you have this person, for instance, when Funke actually uh, made intention known or interest, I mean, the news was out there. Uh, one question that has always been put out is the question of capacity. And some people would say, does she have the capacity, you know, to act? For instance, if you have the governor not in around does she have what it takes you know to hold the state or run uh you know the state in the absence of yes. the governor uh, capacity has always been questioned for this person they say oh it's not one and the same thing well what are your thoughts in terms oh. of capacity what do you think right I, yes i, I didn't want to address that aspect because i wanted us to take the conversation step by step i don't know how much that we have now that you brought yourself forward if you are right it's just like an advert being uh, being thrown uh, for recruitment of uh, broadcasters. I could apply because it's my right to apply. I mean, by the time I come to Plus TV for interview, then I face the panel and they discover that I don't have the capacity, then the job is not given to me. I mean, that is the same thing in politics because, you, you I mean, by showing interest, if you're applying for the job, and then the people, the, the, the employer, which is the electorate, will now, will now look at your CV will not interview you, will not interrogate you, and look at you are, where you are coming from and know if you are qualified to be, to be given the job. Now, the ultimate employer is the electorate. Not you, you are coming out. Your coming out is like, I mean, for instance, I'm, an, I mean, I, I'm into consulting, and I, most times I conduct interview. I put up adverts for, to, to conduct interview, and all manner of people apply. And at the day, I mean, just, I need one person, so I will screen and screen and screen. And if I need two, three people, maybe out of 1,000 applications, I can get two or three that I wanted, and I will employ those ones. But so the same thing goes to them. I, 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 my, in my personal opinion, yes, capacity is very, very important. And that was why when Tonto DK, uh, I'm from River State, when they Tonto DK wants to be deputy governorship candidate to, well, a party that anyway, not too popular, but you cannot rule out anything. Uh, that came to my mind. One, you see, when you want to go to public office, you must also assess yourself. What are the baggage you are coming with? Scandals and all kinds of things. Is that what you are taking to public office? So that is your right to contest. But again, you should also look at your own capacity. First and foremost, look at your own credentials, your personal credentials. All the all the uh, uh, controversies that you've got, scandals you've gone through, is it sufficient enough to present yourself for public office? So this is where I think this is where the issues are. are. Not you, be, be, it is your right, but you yourself, when you see a job application, a, 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 no, sorry, a job advert which you want to apply for, you first of all do an introspection of your life because it's going to be a public thing. If you have someone that they know you have, you, have, you have stolen in public place or you have done some public nuisance things and then you are going to apply for a job of a CEO of a bank or a multinational when all your evidences are, are there in the public, so you yourself should know that that kind of a job is not meant for you. Yes, it's your right, but you do not have possess what it takes to hold such a responsibility. So, and then so also to other people, like Funke Akindele. Yes, she's been successful in her, in her acting career, in, in being able to build a business, in being able to build a brand. Yes, but being a deputy governor, like you said, of a state like Lagos, a deputy governor of a state like Lagos, for which the governor can be away, or the governor can anything can happen to the governor, impeachment, death, or anything, or resignation, his, anything can happen to the governor. And then you are going to step in. Do you have what it takes? You must have built a small empire. Do what what is you have in governance? So I I want to salute people like uh, Desmond. I want to salute people like Banky W. That started from the base. Today, the small Australia has been a, 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 a representative of of uh, Sri Lanka, of group of Sri Lanka in the in the in the in the state assembly. So he has started from the beginning. Today he has learned the rope of governance. 
So when you when you now want to aspire as a governor, you have something coming for you, because being in government and see, we we, we must take this government very seriously. That is why when some people wake up and all that they are talking about is being president. For instance, when a show it, every every year after every four years, he will come up and want to be president. You've not ruled the local government. You've not you you you're not, you're not even a councillor in the local government, and then you've not even. That is, there's no record of you in government. And you think of, there's even no record of you in a proper corporate setting, apart from your own, your, your own business. One can be very successful in his business, but if you are brought into corporate set, public corporate uh, 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 space, you, you, you flutter. And so those are the kind of things that you need in business. And those, those are the kind of things you need in, 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 in governance. So start somewhere, start from the local government, if Don DK has strived, yes, I, I'm not cutting up anybody's ambition. This is case for Mubiakwe local government, one of the biggest local government in Nigeria. In fact, I think I think about the richest, maybe apart from uh, Lagos Island or so. Uh, 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 I'm from River State, so I know Ubiakwe very well. It's a big local government. If Don DK has started as a as a, as a vice chairman of uh, of uh, local government. And then now start as aspiring to become a vice, a, a, a deputy governor of River State. One can say yes. One can one can link something to her. So what can you link to her presently? Nothing. So that is the issue. I'm not cutting up anybody's ambition. It's your right that even if even George Ware has to come from learning to be a senator for years before he become president. I'm not saying people cannot cannot jump. I mean, I, 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 I mean, the, 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 a man like Schwarzenegger did not even, uh, and, and Schwarzenegger did not even become anything. He became a, a, a governor, but that is a different setting. No, but I, I'd like us to come back to Nigeria. Uh, Wilcox, I'd like us to come back to Nigeria and look at some of the experiences that we have. Uh, let's understand this capacity, and you know, uh, what it takes to run an office. Uh, for some of these persons who are currently governors and who are probably deputy governors, and I, I understand the point that you have raised that it's important to start, you know, at a certain level, maybe probably to get experience in the public administration, because all these persons, whether you're lawmakers, whether you're governors and what have you, they are public, uh, they are public administrators, right? It, it's important. You have raised that point. Get an experience somewhere. Start from somewhere. But, but we understand the role of a deputy and a vice president in Nigeria. And we really see that there's really nothing that, uh, you know, that they're allowed to do. There's, they take the instructions. These are instructions. And I don't know if, you know, the, the current president was born with, he inherited some capacity or he learned, you know, from wherever it is that he started, all of these persons. It's not like anyone was born with it. I mean, for instance, Desmond Elliott, that's, that's, that's very strong for you to become a lawmaker, you know, at the state level representing. It's a lot. Where, what, what other po political office did he occupy? What other experience did he get? Was he a counselor prior to now? I would like to understand that. On the other hand, because it feels like we constantly maybe would say, for instance, you need to be a professor. And because you are a professor, or maybe you've held several offices. We have seen professors. For instance, uh, I would say in Cross River State, you have a professor who is a deputy governor of a state. And there are several times where you have the governor not around. What exactly has happened? What, what has really, really happened in the state? I mean, what's the transformation? What miracle has happened? So I really don't well, know if that's, well, you know, a very valid uh, position to be in to say, no, no, um, because no, no, no. Uh, uh, we, we really doubt that there's really nothing that she can do. Is this also applicable to uh, the male counterpart or is this just a, a female issue now, a gender issue? No. I mentioned... Oh, sorry, I, I mentioned Shewere here, so it's not a gender issue. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not gender biased at all. Okay. I mentioned Shewere is a misadventure. So you can also see that I'm not, uh, I, I'm, I'm being factual here. Uh, uh, my, 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 my profession talks about accuracy and integrity, so I, I, and, I, and I'll call that to the last. Now, you see, you made some valid points. I agree with you. I agree with you totally. So the fact that, I agree with you totally to the fact that uh, there are issues that need to be addressed. There are issues that need to be addressed. The, these issues include what you have just mentioned. Now, if you look at the issue of 
uh, uh, persons aspiring to offices. You know, so at some point, you must start from somewhere. If you look at those who are ruling us today, for instance, if you are looking at Somwoli in Lagos, Somwoli in Lagos has been a commissioner in one way or the other. If you look at even his the deputy, they've been somewhere, somewhere. And they started from somewhere. And the level we are in now, it is not the type that a new fight to just go into such exalted offices. Because we have challenges. And even the people that are risk, that are there today looking for, I, I mean, they're trying to, trying to um, grapple with it, trying to share those experiences, are still they are grappling with it. We are not talking of seriously new fights that have not had anything. Now, I understand that deputy governors are like spare tires in this country. A lot of governors make them spare tires. But, you are not, but that is the abnormality. Even the constitution gives some constitutional provision for deputy governors and for vice presidents. I don't think that the federal level it has fared badly because, as you know, Oshibaju has been seen to have done some things when vice president is not around. But in the states, even in Lagos State, you discover that most time deputy governors are given all responsibility in Lagos State. I mean, during the first turn of week in River State, his, de his deputy governor was all over the place. Maybe the second time that you did if she even as a deputy governor. But something could happen to the governor. And then the deputy governor will have to step in. So is it, I'm not, see, I'm not under my capacity of anybody, but we're looking at a broader concept. Um, um, uh, Banky W wanted to go to the House of Rep, which is excellent. I may not support his ambition, but I think that's an excellent move. Because he wants to start where he thinks he can perform and, and, and learn some things. Now, you want to be a deputy governor of Lagos State. What are you bringing to the table? Uh, you, the, okay, that is, that is issue. I, I'm being prompted that we have to go now, but 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 let's let's also look at this. I'm sure that we can have this conversation. This conversation is not about Funke Akindele, but generally uh, those persons who are in different parts, you know, of the industry. I mean, different sectors of the economy. For instance, the entertainment industry, we call them public figures or celebrities. And the fact that, uh, do they have a role to play? Do they have what it takes to give back to society? Are they also non Nigerians? Why should we begin to raise questions? If you look at Funke, because we have decided to mention her and, and use that as an example, not that I'm holding brief for her, nor I'm a spokesperson, but if you look at her, we say that she's been successful in, in her chosen career. She, she's been successful. She's an employer of labor. It might not be in hundreds and thousands, but I'm sure that she has persons who, uh, you know, sh she's an employer of labor. She's solving a problem for society, uh, a problem that, you know, we might not even take into cognizance, but it's, it's a major issue. Entertainment is not a joke. And beyond that, there are businesses that she runs, plus the fact that she's a legal practitioner. So when we constantly talk about capacity, whether they have what it takes to run, you know, the state, if the state is being left in, do they have what it takes to call the short is so big and all of that. Those who are running it, what exactly? Were they born with it? Did they come with it? Don't you have some form of training when you get into a particular space to understand the dynamics, how things are being done? I think that we need to I begin to think in this, I, I, you know, particular I, 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 dimension. I, I, I said that before. I do not have any, I don't have any about any of the ambition. I've said it's constitutional, and I've also praised Funke Akindele, uh, Akindele for her successes in um, in, uh, in her chosen field. Abike Dabiri was a broadcaster. And she did excellently well as, his, as a representative. I, I think that the people government. need to, well, we need to so, go now. So, but you see, we need to put this issue in context. Is there right that, again, assess yourself, the baggage you are coming with, is it the type that will be acceptable to the public? That is what is invoked. That, I mean, that for me, is the story. Not if the capacity. The capacity, yes, it's, it's good to mention it. But the baggage you are coming with, are you sure you want to stand public scrutiny? And mm -hmm. are you sure that you want to take take that to office? And can the office accommodate you with those baggages? And some of these and some of these baggages, uh, some people would say, uh, does the law make provision? Uh, for these baggages, what does the law say about those who would want to vie for political offices? Uh, are you a convict or not? No, does it talk about all of that? Society, you know, th these are society, issues. Society as a big as a, as a, as a, as a whole. Mo morality is not law. 
We need to go it's now. Thank law, you so much. But it's societal, but it's part of societal norms. Well, uh, we're being prompted to leave. Thank you so much, Alexa Wilcox, for being part of the show. He's a chartered accountant right here in Lagos. We we'll appreciate you. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. All right, that's the size of the breakfast. Uh, thank you so much for being with us and, uh, you know, following us from 7 o'clock up, up until this time. Uh, that's it. We will be back here tomorrow with more interesting conversation. If you missed that, it will be okay to be part of the conversation via Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram with Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Messi Boko. Have a fantastic day.